Hey up lads and lasses, Danfi here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. So I was going to try and get out the outpost ships this week, but I'm missing one, I'm missing the Star Sweeper. I did try and dock, because I know you can see them at level 7 cities, but... Uh, yeah, much to the demise of four of my recon ships uh, getting blown up whenever they try to liaise. So, uh, unfortunately I can't bring you that this week. However, a request that's been coming up a lot is the base battle cruisers uh, ranking of them. Uh, I believe I do have one sort of in that long 40 minute video, so it's probably better that I just cover it here anyway and have like a separate video so you can quickly reference it and um, all that good stuff. Just to note, there is another giveaway, and uh, again, thanks to Good Gamey and the guys over at NetEase and stuff like that. Uh, they are again sponsoring another giveaway. It's 50 US dollars. And um, yeah, more info on that though at the end of the video. So let's jump in, and I think the easiest way is I'm going to talk about them, and we're going to try a different format, and if you guys like it, We'll try and do all the ranking videos in the future like this. If not, we'll refer back to the previous ranking. So, let's start off from the top. Um, I don't have Spear on here, but I can go into the shop. The Black Market boxes have one in there, so I can show you off there. So, Constantine the Great. Now, Constantine the Great is probably, as a base the best of the bunch in the battle cruisers and this is due to the fact that its base weapon damage although i believe slightly lower than the um spear it's more likely to hit the spear has a really big issue with its ability to actually be able to shoot things in the first place and um, obviously you can you know buff this up increase hit rates from support ships, increase hit rate on the weapon system, and it does make it a considerably stronger ship. But the Constantine off the base is pretty strong. At base, its main weapon system is this uh, massive dual gun, super heavy ion turret. Um, not really a turret though, because it doesn't move. But uh, it does 400 damage a hit. It's one of those laser beams, so it has a six second duration. So when it's hitting, it's doing that 400 damage over six seconds and it has a 10 second attack interval so it's quite a rapid firing weapon especially of this nature i don't believe even the io at base is uh, as powerful as this but it's similar to how the io works it's got 9000 per minute damage so it's got this very very strong weapon system it's got decent movement speed as well at warp speed at 2000 it's a lot faster than an st-59 i believe um it's not much slower than cruisers you can almost get away with running these within cruiser fleets it will slow them down a bit but not massively so the gamma storm projectile system is a launcher system missiles it does 850 fires eight rounds there's two of them so it's 16 shots every 26 seconds at 850 damage per missile which is actually quite a lot of damage and i think this is where most of this thing's damage really lies although being projectile based and it can get mitigated by armor uh, the fact that it's got a high base damage is pretty good it's also got plenty of abilities to just buff its damage up we got increased cooldown, um, chance of core 10% crit damage is quite nice as well. We got hit rate increases and everything for it. Strategy, sync all weapons and the system to focus fire on a single target, reduce the cooldown by 80%. So you can get a massive cooldown reduction for night uh, for 15 seconds every minute and a half. Um, most battles I find later on don't last much longer than a minute and a half unless you've come across somebody uh, that has got a very tanky fleet. Most battles are over around two minutes. You're normally only getting this triggered once uh, the majority of the time. So it is quite a decent ship. Again, the Gamma Storm will have a quick look. Uh, again, loads of ion cannon damage upgrades. We've got firing duration increases. This increases its overall damage considerably. So these are quite worth getting as well as the cooldown. No strategies on that bow mounted weapon though, which is a bit of a shame. Armor systems, quite nice. 160 base armor with 25% energy shield. So it's mitigating a lot of damage. This can further be increased by a considerable margin by getting more physical resistances and even a slight chance to dodge here and more energy resistances. 
If it was me, I because you got the five slots, I'd certainly be going for the physical resistance, the energy resistance, and then probably finishing with the explosive reaction armor, which uh, reduces the chance of being hit by missiles and torps over the HP increase. But that would be my personal preference. Again, for the Gamma Storm, I'd probably be looking at cooldown here. Um, actually, no, I wouldn't. It's got a quick enough cooldown anyway. Be going for uh, damage here and then probably looking at the cooldown and the firing duration uh, before maybe looking at some other bits and pieces. Maybe the crit on there is quite nice. For the uh, Gamma Storm missile system, I'd be uh, looking to probably decrease the cooldown of this as much as possible, get those missiles firing a bit more quickly. We've got cooldown reduction there. And that's it for cooldown reduction, unfortunately. So then probably pushing the damage up. Chance to has a chance to crit and increase damage is quite nice. So this is quite decent as well. And obviously finishing off with a strategy because it's uh, it's pretty good. I would probably try and get the uh, cooldown and the damage up before I went for the strategy, personally though. Propulsion systems don't really matter too much here. Obviously trying to get your warp speed up as much as possible and then it's got one extra slot for the cruising speed but you won't be cruising too much in it hopefully because again it's a bit slow on the cruise at 400. The warp's terrible though. So overall the Constantine the Great is a very very strong battle cruiser. It's probably at a base the best. We'll then have a look at the Eternal Storm. Now, the Eternal Storm is the other energy variant uh, of Battlecruiser that we can get. It has the Vegan Ion Generator Ion Cannon, which is, I believe, the exact same one that you get on uh, the IO. But I believe its damage per hit is considerably higher. Now, in theory, this thing should just be better than the Constantine, but from practice and testing, it's turned out not to be. The Constantine has genuinely out damaged it in every single situation and I believe it's due to the fact that it's secondary weapon system. Uh, these cluster missiles, this anti-ship torp. The anti-ship torp's only firing one, it's got two of them so it does fire two every 20 seconds which is quite nice. But these cluster torps are useless. They're completely worthless. These are anti-ship weapons as well to sort of the R destroy it frigate but yeah, they, they, they just don't really do anything. I think it's due to the fact that the secondary weapon systems on the Eternal Storm aren't as strong as the secondary weapon system on the Constantine, which brings this thing down. Slightly better base armor, but I believe the base HP is lower than the Constantine at 1300. Uh, no, it's actually higher. For some reason, the Eternal Storm feels really, really squidgy in comparison to a Constantine, and I'm not sure if it's due to the fact that maybe it's not killing things quick enough, so it's taking more damage, or something else. Either way, as you can see, its basic damage is straight up lower. I believe the Vigan has the same strategy as the Ion, turns all, uh, off all other weapon systems, increases the continuous fire duration of the main Ion Cannon by 100%, and increase hit rate by 35%, every 90 seconds for 30 seconds. This basically doubles its damage for about 30 seconds, more or less. And turning off these secondary weapons, uh, these secondary systems, like these useless cluster torps or the anti-ship torpedo, not gonna really be too much of a problem at all. Armor system, again, you got the five slots, so you can go the double physical resistance, double energy into the explosive reaction armor or into the welding tech enhancement or the kernel structure enhancement, whichever you prefer. Both are fine. Personally, I'd go for the dodge rate. Again, propulsion systems, same as before, more or less. Grab the warp speed and have a look at the cruising speed afterwards. Yeah. And a funny looking ship as well. I, I, I'm sort, I sort of like it and sort of don't like it at the same time. Like I love the uh, structure on it. I'm not a fan of the bridge area on this. Uh, it looks too small. This little tiny thing popping out of this massively sized ship. But uh, personal preferences there. I mean, it makes sense that the bridge would be small. We then have the ST-59. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you a completely base one, and that's because I've got it upgraded. Um, so 
Just ignore this heavy additional armor, giving me 250 uh, base armor, and ignore this integrated uh, weapons platform, giving me these clusters. Uh, so I think we're, what, 1100 damage there, and 250 armor. So we're down to the lowest damage of the lot. Uh, it has got the highest base armor. It's got one of the lowest HP though, but the base armor kind of makes up for that. But the ST-59 is the worst battle cruiser uh, at base by a long margin. It's assault railgun system, uh, although for having two of them, only does, I think, 700 damage per hit at two, point, uh, two rounds per cycle. Uh, 16 second attack interval so it's really not that much damage it's not like the eternal storm where it's bow mounted weapons energy based so it doesn't have to deal with mitigated armor and the eternal storm's missile system is higher damage output than the heavy railgun so yeah it's not particularly great uh the railgun turret array is not standard hang on let me switch that back out should be the large cannons uh there we go so it's secondary system of these large cannons, you get three dual cannon heavy batteries doing 280 damage per hit, 16 second attack interval. Again, destroyers and frigates here, so it's not too bad. And then it has some anti uh, with the Corvette fighters, 40 damage per hit every four seconds. It's, it, it's usable, the ST-59, but burly. If you don't have any other battle cruisers, you can use the ST-59 at base. When it gets upgraded, it gets considerably better, but yeah. Assault Railgun System, by the way, uh, I recommend the cooldown first on here. Try and reduce its cooldown as much as possible before increasing its Railgun damage and uh, grabbing the strategies for it. Uh, the Siege is actually not bad on it. Now Siege has been fixed. Adding a lot of Siege damage to ships does help out. Uh, if you'd rather get more better hit rate on frigates and destroyers go that route instead so cooldown damage strategy and then make your choice of taking the siege damage or potentially taking the hit rates uh, is what i'd recommend there you do have plenty of slots to play around with you can even take one of the hit rates i believe and the siege damage and uh, you're good that way as well but if you want even increased hit rate you can go that way large cannon platform more or less the same thing most projectile weapons do better with cooldown, increasing the damage overall. Again, increasing the base damage is also good, especially later on into the game because higher armor targets are coming at you. So increasing the ammo and uh, the ammo enhancement here to increase the base damage is gonna help you out. Punch through that armor a little bit more reliably. Again here, due to the fact that the weapon systems target frigate destroyers and the fighters and corvettes with the smaller versions. I'd be inclined to take the three cooldown and the two damage. I believe it's five slots only here. So that is four of your slots gone. And then probably picking the frigate and destroyer hit rate just to try and get more hits in on target and uh, that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's the ST-59 again. Um, a lot lot slower than a Constantine like a lot slower so these are not worth running in your main fleet I'd highly recommend running these in a um, a reinforcement style fleet like I've shown previously on my one of my other videos uh, propulsion you only got two slots here oh sorry that was the heavy armor I accidentally clicked on let me click the propulsion there we go we get three slots here warp speed again Probably your best bet and then taking the cruise. It's not going to matter much because I do recommend running this within the um, reinforcement fleets. So if we jump out of here, uh, we go to blueprint, uh, blueprints. No, we don't. We go to research and if it eventually loads, store, black market, yeah, we can buy one. We'll open that as well. Why not? Battle cruisers, the spear of Uranus. Or oh, Uranus, I believe it's meant to be pronounced. So, it's got 27,000 damage, and it looks like it should be straight up better. It's got a massive bow damaging weapon with 2,600 damage a shot every 12 seconds. Again, 
Cooldown on here is going to be really, really good. You're not going to need to boost that damage much to break through most armor. So boosting the cooldown is going to help you out a lot more. Strategy, again, is cooldown on here. I actually kind of recommend trying to get the cooldown on here, then the strategy before boosting the damage. Um, with how it works, though, and you can reset instantly you could grab the cooldown as you're leveling pick up some damage as soon as you you've got enough points saved up drop the damage by resetting grab your cooldown back again grab your um strategy and uh, yeah go back into maybe your damage again these hit rates though are going to be pretty important unfortunately there is no hit rate here that does anything against cruisers because they're still kind of dodgy especially ios uh, but you can get increased hit rate against frigates and destroyers on the spear and it is very very needed because the spear's accuracy is god awful it, it it can't hit a barn wall i swear also comes the secondary with heavy cannons doing 950 damage with a 12 second attack interval again big damaging weapons on the rear uh on the ship and then we got a couple of 100 damage weapons and some anti-air as well for this Again, likewise, cooldown is going to be your best bet. Uh, reducing the system's firing duration reduces the attack interval, which means the shots get fired off a little bit faster, increasing its burst damage potential. So this is actually quite good to go for. Again, you're going to have to make the choice of going for cooldown damage and potentially this firing duration or into maybe some hit rate. Um, hit rate does translate it into a DPS increase, so don't neglect it, but especially on the sphere actually because uh, like i mentioned it's it can't hit a barn door at all it's it's useless at it spear upgraded though is pretty strong and it's probably better than the eternal storm uh so yeah yeah so we'll jump into ranking now and i'll show you where i personally rank the base battle cruisers and yeah we'll leave it at that and then get onto the giveaway oh i did say i was going to open this box quick didn't i because i've picked it off while recording so might as well show you the look of a youtuber and yeah nothing like i expected so there you go <laughs> no special treatment here at all right let's jump over to the rankings so we are over in the ranking and here we go Eternal Storm is S-Class. It is by far at a base the best battle cruiser you can run. Highly recommend trying them out. The Storm, Eternal Storm is going to be our B. Uh, this is due to the fact that it's it's not amazing, it's not great, it's pretty in the middle, and it, it's okay though. The Spear of Uranus or Uranus is going into A. Uh, again, I think it's better than an Eternal Storm at base and with some upgrades it can definitely outperform and it becomes sort of borderline s tier later on it's fantastic at um shutting cities and enemy player bases down as well it's got loads of siege potential so it is really good in siege and we're going to go for d for the st59 it is the worst out of the bunch at base but with some upgrades it becomes very very potent and this is due to the fact that it has such massive armor potential um i think at base it can push like 500 550 armor or something like that uh or actually it's a bit lower than it's like 450 but um you know you just get the additional armor the heavy armor that i have on it and then it's pushing 700 damage mitigating so much damage this fleet can sit around and just tank for days i accidentally did a city once where um as a level two i just went into it solo with one of my fleets well two fleets but one of my fleets got stuck uh so this sd59 five of them on a reinforcement fleet straight into my main fleet it tanked two full rounds of city attack so i didn't kill the city in time like the 50 minute time or the one hour time or whatever it is so the city respawned all of its fleets and i just sat there and retanked the second lot of fleets after the first lot of fleets uh with one fleet by itself because of st 59s just sat there just soaking up the damage it was quite funny to watch um yeah it was completely my mistake as well uh anyway so there you go, that is the ranking.
Now onto the giveaway. It's again, it's sponsored by uh, the good gamey guys that are partnered with uh, NetEase. So uh, they are offering 50 US dollars. Uh, same as last time, I will be drawing on the end of the month, which is the 30th. So we got the 29th, the giveaway will end and I'll draw on the 30th, uh, same as last time. So do make sure you have subscribed and stuff like that. Hit the um, bell button for notifications because I will be doing it the same way as last time. Uh, I haven't found a better way of doing it quite yet. And uh, that will be um, putting up a community post. So if you don't have the bell icon, you might miss it. So do do that it might help you out there and yeah comment down below on the next video that you would like to see to participate within the giveaway is uh, what's going to be going on this time so yeah uh, a video that you'd like to see uh, it can be about uh, more ranking videos for ships uh, we have got the phase three stuff that I believe my server finishes in 10 days so we'll be jumping into phase three so we will have some information out on that I am still working on trying to grab all of the modules for these battle cruisers from other players and stuff like that. If you have maxed out battle cruisers with all of the modules, do drop me a message on Discord and um, get hold of me, and uh, I'll definitely have a look at everything and uh, give you a shout out and stuff like that. Again, I'm still looking for the Star Sweeper for the outpost ships, so if you can give me uh, some stuff on that as well, that'd be much obliged because I, I don't have access to any of those outposts till hopefully maybe next phase but i'd rather try and get that video out a little bit sooner again giveaway comment down below the next video you'd like to see and that's all from me guys so have a good one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you next time